Right, what's up everybody? This is Seth Web with another video tutorial. And today I'm gonna promote the plugin called WP Dark Mode. It's a plugin created by WP Pool. And uh, I've created this uh, or installed this for a client and I found it very nice. They have a great support. It's quite affordable as well in terms of pricing. And I even now have a discount code so you can get it with 30% off. So let me show you what it does. Uh, this is a, a demo that we are selling on our website. So if you like this design, you can go to Septila Web and you can buy the design and have it installed in about half an hour. Um, but the thing that I want to show you is this nice way of switching between light and dark mode. Um, maybe you already know this from your mobile phone, your iOS device, and almost every device now, and even operation systems on your uh, computer has the ability to switch between light and dark mode. So now it's possible to install this in your WordPress website, and I'm going to show you how to do this with the WP Dark Mode plugin. Okay, so let's get started. Well, let me first of all give you the discount code so you don't need to wait all the way uh, at the end of the uh, video. So once you want to buy this, and you really need to buy the premium or the ultimate version uh, to get all the customization possibilities. Um, and combining this with Flatsome, you, you really need to, uh, to uh, upgrade and not only work with the free version. So as soon if you, as you're going to buy, and if you're working with multiple websites, then it's a good idea to take the five uh, website account and you get more features instead of the three. Uh, what you need to do is click on buy now and the discount code is Sep de la Web. Here you can find the promotional code that you can fill in Sep de la Web and then 30, 30. And then when you apply, you get a 30% off, as you can see, makes it even cheaper. And a nice thing, these guys are having discounts all the time. So uh, I'm not sure, uh, probably this is marketing, but you will even get an extra 30% off with my discount code. So set the low app 30, and then you can make it happen and buy it with discount. All right, so let's get started. First of all, I wanna tell you, um, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you can go to the description link below because I also created a, a page on my member area having the discount code, having the switcher short code ready, and even created some custom CSS for you to, um, because sometimes you need to optimize this for Flatsome. And I already thought about some lines of CSS, but probably I will be updating this along the way and making sure it will be compatible. I won't give support on the on the plugin. They have a great support center. So when you're really having in-depth que questions on the plugin, please go uh, towards them um, for your support questions. All right, so let's get started. Enough said. Uh, first of first of all, you need to install the free version. So searching on WP Dark Mode. Here we go. They can already find it here. It's the one of the WP pool, like I said. Installing it, and of course activating it as well. And then I'm just going to show you how it looks when you're just working with the free version. What it will do for you is you will get a, a switcher here down below and you can already click on the switch. And then it looks something like this. So not really what you would expect. Uh, it's, it's already doing a lot, but you need to customize it uh, on uh, with your project settings, of course. So I'm going to show you what you need to do. Uh, you need to add in some custom CSS. But unfortunately, for a lot of these features, and this is very smart of these guys, you need to have the ultimate or the, the premium version. Um, so what, what I need to do, and I already installed it. So once you've purchased it, you will get the uh, ultimate plugin, and then you can activate it. And uh, you always need to combine. So you need to have the free version. Taking this out. You always need to combine the uh, free version with the premium version. So once you've activated the deactivated the free version, it will give you a notification that it won't work without the free version. So keep that in mind that you need to have both activated. Uh, once you've done this, I'm just going briefly through the settings. I won't you know, cover all of them. Uh, it says, okay, does it need to enable the front end dark mode? So meaning all the people that are visiting your website 
Can they have the option to switch between dark mode? Of course, that's the whole reason why we make this video. And we even have the option on the backend, meaning we could have this on the WordPress uh, admin side, but we won't use this. And then even there's an enable OS aware. So depending of like, if you're visiting the website on your OS device and it's set to dark mode by default, probably, and I haven't tested out yet, but the website will be displayed in dark mode by default. So then we have some advanced settings. We could make the dark mode default, so it will be always dark. And we could even work with a time-based dark mode, meaning you could set a time uh, during evening times, and then you, know, you can switch. Then we have some color settings, and this is a thing that you need, well, I like to change this, because as you can see, switching, it has a kind of a crazy color scheme set up uh, that I don't really like. So what I would like to do is, uh, <clears throat> Um, do I still have the switcher? I want to have that black color that I'm already using and I don't have fully black. I think I have one, four, four, four. Here we go. And so instead of working with brightness, contrast and sepia uh, here down below, I'm going to work with my own custom colors. Instead of a color preset, I work with my custom colors. Um, so scrolling down below, I want to have my dark mode background color to be that fully black. And then my dark mode text color gonna be full white. And then my dark mode links gonna be fully white as well. So now you can already see, let me keep myself on the left. You can already see it looks better than it, than it did before. A few things still not working as you can see, especially when you're working with sections. And the reason why I added some custom CSS is to cover this. So the section content fix and the button outline fix um, is already included in my CSS. So, um, and with the outline, I mean, as you can see, and it's very difficult to see, but there's a little small border in this button with all your buttons if you're working with this dark mode. So I have two lines of CSS on my member area that you need to add. So the first is the section content fix. And we're gonna put it in at the custom CSS section. Well, let's let's just work every tab first. So first thing, the no, next thing up is the floating switch. So as you can see in my preview, there's a switch here down below that I don't personally really like. I like to have that switch inside my header navigation, makes it much more intuitive, in my opinion, uh, than putting it here. So what I would do, and I already also added that inside my tutorial, uh, on the member area is the switcher short code. So with this short code, you can place this short code wherever you want, and then you will have the switcher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going opening up my header, header main. All right, and then I can drag uh, my HTML for uh, elements. That just gives me an opportunity when I click on it to add any kind of short code here in HTML4, so let's say SEP, then you can see it will be displayed nicely here, SEP, as you can see. I'm gonna put HTML4 element all the way on the right, and then at that HTML4 area, I'm gonna paste in that short code, and now you can see style is set to one, and this um, is connected to the styles that you can see here. So in terms of the numbers, so one, two, three, four, so, each one represents a specific number. So the, the one I personally like is the number seven, this one. So I'm gonna put in style number seven. Here we go. And now it looks something like this, but when you're visiting the website on the front, you can see you have the nice switcher here on the right. So now I can you know take out that uh, floating one and that's easy to do. So I can uh, click on this one, but Sometimes you need to, you know, enable it because then you can see the specific styles and do, you know, counting the ones you would like to use, but switching them off, now you won't see that switcher anymore here down below, like the floating one. Right, hope that makes sense. And then there's some more stuff. So you could even, you know, upload a custom switch icon. You could upload some custom text. So much more settings in terms of customizing the switcher. Um, but uh, I think we can continue. So the include and the excludes, for the moment I'm not using them, but it is an easy way to uh, 
add elements to or include or ex exclude sp specific uh, CSS classes. So if you don't want to, you know, show, uh, you know, convert a specific element to dark mode, you can add that element inside here to exclude it. And then we have the image settings, and that's an important one because, as you can see, switching between light and dark, you can see that my logo isn't appearing, meaning uh, it it needs a light version as well. Well, fortunately, in my design, I already have a light version here down below, so that's the one I'm going to use. And how the way it works is that I can just paste in a URL, meaning okay, what kind of image uh, is it in light mode, and what should it be in dark mode? So I'm going to copy paste this URL of this specific logo. So that's the dark, uh, the light logo in the light mode, and then taking that light version to set up in my dark mode. So saving it, and you can do this for any picture. I won't be doing this for all, but I could also do this for my logos and other stuff. So keep that in mind. So now when I'm refreshing and switching between, probably I need to do a hard refresh, as you can see, now it's working nicely. So the last thing uh, is that pieces of custom CSS that I already, because I you know, had some issues with, uh, with Flatsum and this dark mode. So again, I try to update this along the way if I find more uh, challenges. Uh, but first of all, the section content fix, because as you can see, switching um, <clears throat> here for this specific section, it isn't working. So I'm going to add that inside my custom CSS section fix. And then I also have a little button code to fix the buttons as well. Done. So now when I'm updating and switching to black, as you can see, it looks much better now. All right. Um, I think I have said enough. And again, I cannot really give fully support on this plugin. I really like it. They have a great support uh, team. So please, you know, contact them if you're having issues customizing this for your specific Flatsum project. Each Flatsum project is different and probably you're working with different elements. I try to do my best, you know, adding some custom CSS. And if you have some tips that needs to be added, you just leave your thoughts here in the comments below. I will probably put off the comments inside my YouTube video because then it's going to be much more difficult to give uh, <coughs> uh, uh, feedback on this video. Uh, so please go to the member area for any more questions. Um, I already told, told you about the discount code to get the 30% off. Um, and probably this, the video will be uploaded uh, on top. So please make sure you scroll a little bit down uh, to get all this extra information. All right, guys. So let me know what you think. Also, you know, give a thumbs up on my member area so I can see what is interesting and it will be even, you know, get categorized based on what you guys like. Of course, this is my first plugin uh, promotion and working with a discount affiliate link. So I need to tell you, I'm, I'm always being honest. I'm even getting a you know, kickback fee on every uh, <clears throat> uh, purchase of the plugin. Uh, but I like it, so that's why I promote it. And um, I'm curious what you think about it. Um, good luck with your Flatsome project, and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.